Prince Harry and Meghan Markle answered critics of their jet set lifestyle, by having a roast dinner down the pub. The royal couple tucked into a 15 pounds lunch at the boozer with three month old Archie in a cot beside them. Harry, 34, washed his down with a couple of pints of beer while Meghan, 38, appeared to stick to water during their two hour stay. They sat inside unnoticed while other diners soaked up the sun on Sunday at the Rose and Crown in Winkfield Village in Berkshire. It was in contrast to the global warming campaigning couple's recent holiday jaunts to a visa and the south of France on gas-guzzling private jets. The Sussexes, watched by two protection officers, were spotted by a businessman, 53, and his girlfriend. He said, they were on a table with, I presume, a private secretary. Meghan was cradling Archie most of the time. The little lad was as good as gold, I didn't hear him cry once while he was there. No other customers recognized them. The staff clearly knew who they were but kept the service low-key. They did indicate to me they had been there before. They just chatted away like any normal couple and were laughing a lot. After the controversy they have been attracting they were getting their feedback on the ground with pub grub like millions of ordinary folk, and it was nice to see. There's always something to be outraged about when it comes to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Their names are constantly in the headlines for misbehavior or scandals even when it's almost nothing. Once again the royal couple is being criticized, and this time it's for loving each other too much. Or at least expressing that love in public too often. Royal critics say the Duke and Duchess are losing friends because they engage in too much PDA. Dot. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are grossing out their friends with too much PDA. The tradition for proper English dinner parties states that couples should be seated across from one another. The reason for the table rule is to discourage acts of public affection, which could put guests off their food. Another big etiquette rule for English dinner parties is to never disrupt the seating arrangement. You must sit where placed by your host, so as not to disrupt the social order. Harry and Markle, however, have decided to chuck these rules. They like to touch each other, and don't want to sit across the table. According to the Daily Mail, the royal couple's friends are starting to get annoyed with them for not following tradition. Harry's friends are blaming Markle and assume the Duchess thinks their etiquette rules are exclusive and traditional. Because of all this drama, it's being reported that Harry's friends have stopped inviting the Duke and Duchess over for dinner, as they're offended by the blatant disregard for etiquette. Meghan Markle has been accused of too much PDA by almost everyone. The dinner issue isn't the first time Harry and Markle's public acts of affection have been brought up. In fact, many people, including the media, have complained that Markle touches Harry too often. They claim it's not appropriate for a royal couple, and some have even called Markle clingy because she's always reaching for Harry's hand. On social media, royal fans aren't afraid to voice their opinion. I really don't understand why Meghan can't let go of Harry one single minute. Looks like a teen that just wants to do the opposite of what she should be doing, one user said, as reported by Closer Weekly. Another royal fan had a similar opinion. Why is Meghan so clingy? Every pic she's always pawing at the hubby. Like Run Harry, they wrote. It's true the way Markle behave is very different than royal fans are used to. Neither Prince Charles and Princess Diana or Prince William and Kate Middleton have ever had as much PDA as Markle and Harry show. Many think it's inappropriate for a royal couple to behave that way. Why is there always controversy around Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? Is the PDA a serious problem, or is this just another in a long line of ways that people harass Markle? The way Harry and Markle choose to do things is very different from the way things have been done in the past. This may be just another example of how Markle is changing the way the royal family proceeds. But others see it differently. Some say the way Markle is constantly reaching for Harry makes her appear insecure. It does seem like sometimes Markle grips Harry so closely that she's afraid he'll disappear. This will probably go one of two ways in the end. Either people will accept the PTA, and it will become the norm, maybe even expected that royal couples touch each other often. Or, the public will continue to pressure the Duke and Duchess until they become uncomfortable and discontinue the behavior.
At this point, it's hard to know which one would be a better outcome.